Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Are you thinking about installing a brand new heating and air unit? You, your old unit's kind of on its way out or maybe it can't keep up like it used to. Um, I got a warning for you. If you own a crawl space and you're looking to install a new heating and air unit, stay tuned. Okay, so if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to indoor air quality and energy efficiency when it comes to your attic, basement, crawl space, and ductwork. So I'd like it if you'd subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. Okay, so many, many years ago, I would go up to a house and I would talk to the homeowner. This was back when I was doing a lot of the work by myself. And I would talk to the homeowner about you know, we never had a problem in our crawl space. It's always been mold free. And then all of a sudden we got mold. Why did we get mold? And after research and asking the right questions and talking to them, it normally happened within two years of them changing out their HVAC system. So why does a new heating and air unit cause mold in a crawl space? Well, the problem is, is that your old unit. Let's say you had some 1990s unit. You know, today they're so energy efficiency. They're high sear rating. They get really, really cold so that they can shut off faster, right? So that's the whole point. They save money by cooling your house faster and then turning off faster because the longer they run, the more energy it wastes. So these new high 14, 15, 21 sear units blow out some really cold air but they take those units and they hook them up to your old ductwork a lot of times. Do you get your ductwork replaced whenever you install that new heating and air unit? Most people don't. And even if they did get it replaced, it's still not properly air sealed. So the rule is, is that most new ductwork just installed leaks up to 25% of their air. So just installing new ductwork doesn't mean it's air sealed. So when you have a really cold duct in that hot, humid crawl space, it's going to make the moisture levels explode inside of that crawl space. You're going to have more condensation, even though the AC unit isn't running as long, it's running colder, which is going to create more condensation, which leads to higher humidity, which leads to higher wood moisture level, which leads to mold and eventually wood rot fungus and even floor support damage. So before you get that new heating and air unit installed, get a what? Dehumidifier installed. That is correct. I get that question all the time. Do I need a dehumidifier in my crawl space? Absolutely. If you're gonna get a new heating and air unit, make sure you get a new April Air dehumidifier for that crawl space. My name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We, uh, oh, and speaking of April Air, we're still trying to give that April Air dehumidifier away. I'm gonna put that video down below. Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, we hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.